Our top story tonight, the Omicron variant of COVID-19. Let's go over the facts here. State health officials confirming the variant has been linked to two Georgia residents. Both people had recently traveled. The World Health Organization calling Omicron a variant of concern and says it has already been detected in more than three dozen countries in every continent except Antarctica. Researchers say it is still too early to tell if it is spreading more easily than other variants and if it's causing a more severe infection. Now, so far, our nation's leading health experts say that people who are vaccinated and infected with this new variant seem to have only mild symptoms. And Sheba, as you know, there's a lot of questions out there. Is drug, mater, drug makers studying the vaccine's effectiveness against this new variant? They're wondering if they would need to develop a new vaccine. Hope Ford is here to verify the facts. Lots of sources to help with these questions. The World Health Organization, CDC, The Lancet, Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, FDA, and Dr. Anthony Fauci. First, is there a vaccine that protects better against the variant? That's unknown. Research suggests because of the variant's various mutations, it may be resistant to vaccines or natural immunity. So Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson are studying the effects of the current vaccines. Is a new vaccine being developed? Yes, but this needs context. The three drug makers are working on an Omicron-specific vaccine. If lab tests show the new variant is resistant to the current vaccines. If so, Pfizer says they can have an Omicron-specific vaccine shipped in 100 days after development. Are vaccines and boosters the best defense against the new variant? Yes, this also needs context. While the effects of the vaccine on the new variant are being studied, research already points to COVID-19 vaccines effectively protecting against other variants, serious illness, and hospital. Dr. Anthony Fauci says people will do well with increased protection of a booster. Particularly against severe disease. And finally, can you mix your vaccine booster? Yes. Studies show mixing vaccines for boosters is effective and safe, with at least one study showing people who receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine have a stronger immune response if they got a Moderna or Pfizer booster. And one final question, is the Delta variant still prevalent? That's a huge yes, with the CDC saying 99.9% .9 of COVID cases reported in the U.S. are from the Delta variant. If you see any claims online that you think should be verified, send them our way. The email is verify at 11alive.com.